Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, these are going to be your full moon in Leo predictions. Now this full moon is taking place on January 28th and it's the first full moon kicking off 2021 with a glitzy and a fierce bang. It's going to boost our spirits and get the cosmic party started. It lights up our creativity, inspires our self-expression, and begs us to pursue our passions with playfulness. It's a fabulous time for bringing artistic endeavors and romantic conquests to a climax. And don't be afraid to embrace your flair for the dramatic and let your most brilliant light shine. So before I get started, guys, I'm just going to ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also check out the description box if you would like a private reading, or if you like the decks that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. So Aquas, let's go ahead and get into these messages. What messages do we have for Aquarius for this full moon in Leo, your opposite sign? What messages do we have for Aquarius for this full moon in Leo? All right, so you're coming out as the Eight of Swords. All right. The Magician, the Ace of Swords or the Ace of Voices, the Hanged Man or the Hanged Muse, the Four of Swords, the Wheel in Reverse. Okay, what goes up must come down. Ooh, but at the same time, Aquarius, you have got some beautiful energy as your outcome. Overall energy, we have the world in reverse. So there's some type of unfinished business here. Aquarius, there's some sort of cycle that you're completing. Um, it could be within a relationship. It could be, you know, being single, moving on to, you know, not being single. Um, it could be about healing, okay? Healing past wounds and past traumas. But for many of you, I feel like it has to do with success. And it may have to do with sex, success and love and romance because the um, king of wands here coming out as your final outcome is very sexy, very attractive. Um, but it's also a CEO and an entrepreneurial idea um, that you're bringing to life. Or maybe you're just calling in that abundance that the universe has been like trying to bless you with. But there's something here that needs to be completed first and you are so close. Okay. You're so, so very close. Now, we have the Eight of Swords. This is your energy or the Eight of Voices. So Aquarius, you're a little bit stuck in the mental body here about what you should do. You may feel as if your hands are tied or you're trapped in a certain situation, but Spirit wants to remind you that you're only trapped when you think you are, that you are innovative, you are powerful. And you know, Aquarius, you guys have this energy of detachment that you can get out of anything, really, but it's not about getting out of anything. It's about where you're going, okay? And that may not seem very very clear to you because we do see her eyes are blindfolded. So that might be creating a little bit of anxiety, but spirit's really asking you to trust, trust that the universe is going to take care of you, is going to provide for you, is going to meet you halfway on this journey. And there's some things that we are not meant to see. I was just looking at the clock and it said 10, 10. So the beautiful ending, a powerful ending, a successful new beginning is on the horizon here. Now, you guys are projecting yourselves as the magician, okay? So you may have um, Virgo or you may have Gemini in your chart, but the magician has everything that he needs, he or she needs to make his or her dreams a reality, okay? So the spiritual and the, and the material tools needed to bring about whatever this is you're trying to do, and people are seeing that. People are seeing your magic, but I feel as if right now, there's something that's created a little bit of doubt. Maybe there's something here that needs to be healed that's not allowing you to see your magic. And really, Aquarius, you are beautiful. You are magical. You have to believe in it. Now, there's a brand new beginning here for you. There's clarity. So I do feel like, you know, many of my Aquarians out there, you're going to be coming out of confusion. You're going to be able to see things clearly that may be receiving a communication and may be tapping into source energy through prayer, through meditation. 
okay, communicating with your guides and your angels, but there's a new beginning. But remember with the Ace of Voices, this is the energy of the Ace of Swords. And the analogy here is always kind of like a new tooth coming in. It's what you need. It's going to be great for you, but it also hurts a little bit because you have to sort of that rupturing. There's a little bit of a rupture there and it also requires you cutting away something from the past. So that might also be what's sort of keeping you in this energy. Now we have the hanged man energy in reverse or the hanged muse. This is Neptunian energy, Pisces energy. Um, this is, you know, where you have been stagnant. And again, with this eight of voices, maybe where you have feel, where you have felt stuck, there was a reason behind it to shatter illusions, to see the truth. Okay. And you will not stay stuck for very long. All right. With that hanged man energy, it's time to take inspired action. So many of you, if you've been working with law of attraction, so we see this magician card here as well. And the world card in reverse is telling me that you're very, very close. There's just like one tiny little piece of the puzzle that may be missing. Okay. And I lost my train of thought. And that when we set our intentions in the spiritual realms, that's beautiful. But we do have to remember we're having a 3D experience and we have to take inspired action here in the material world. And that's what this card is saying. When you have that download, when you have that clarity, and you're going to know it's going to be, it's not going to be, it's going to be undeniable for you, Aquarius, that you're going to take inspired action. Within, we have the four of voices, the four of swords. So it's going to, it's going to require too that you, you rest and you rejuvenate, that you build in rest periods. You may feel like you need to isolate from people or you may need to spend some more time on your own as you're going through this sort of deep transition. But spirit saying that's okay. And what you have worked for and what you are building and what you have healed, none of that is going to be taken away from you or reversed in taking time for yourself. But finding peace with your journey, with your path, especially after this sort of the chaos and the anxiety that we sort of associate with the eight of voices. Now, what you need to know is we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So we have the wheel and the world in reverse. This is about completing a very tough karmic cycle, Aquarius. And look at that. We have the devil in reverse. You're releasing and we have the emperor in reverse, something that's been out of control. Four of wands. Okay, ten of wands. Okay, yeah. So what I'm seeing here, you guys, look at that. We're getting, we're going to go back a little bit further for you. For many of you, this is going to be about a love relationship. It's going to be about a union, but it could also be something that you love. It could be a family situation. It could be your art, your creativity, your job. Okay. This is all about going after your wish fulfillment and the universe asking you to dream big here, to move beyond the obstacles and also to trust that the universe is going to, when you decide to take that risk and you step off that cliff, that you're going to be caught and you're going to be entering into this beautiful cosmic dance with the universe where you're provided for. Okay. But then we have the six of inspiration. So there's been a lot of challenges that you've been learning, lots of tough life lessons. And that may also come through with the breaking of a contract, stepping off of the karmic wheel with somebody in a love relationship or in a business partnership or in a family situation, because it's become too burdensome. And it's not an energy that you can take with you onto this next sort of leg of your journey. We get the four of wands in reverse. So again, you've been waiting for this for a long time, but you've been doing the work. The four of wands can also speak to a twin flame journey or a soulmate energy, a marriage, a contract, but something where there was too much instability and you may have felt very uncontrolled, um, out of control. You may have been dealing with somebody who was too controlling, or maybe it's an aspect of yourself that was trying to control the outcome. And that's what's sort of creating this excess energy that needs to be released, but it's coming out in this form of anxiety and sort of making you run in circles, but you're doing it despite all of that with the devil in reverse, as we move into Aquarius season out of Capricorn energy, we're done with the karmic lessons, obviously not forever, but the energy is about new renewal. You know, it's like a spring cleaning. It's about releasing that what no longer serves you. And also the need to control or realizing surrendering to the flow, the ebb and the flow here and the world. It's not completely over, but you're so very close. And with the, with the wheel card, many of you may have been dealing 
dealing with a karmic relationship, but the lessons here have been learned, albeit it hasn't been easy. So it is time to heal, but it's also time to manifest this new beginning with a new perspective that's going to bring you what you want. The king of wands, male or female, doesn't matter, gets what he wants. The person, the love, the sex, the money, you know, whatever it is, the king of wands. And it's not like he, it's not like in this weird controlling way. I didn't mean to mean that to sound like I get what I want. And I just take it. No, it's about because the up leveling has been so awesome and so great that now this innate ability to attract what it is you want is on the table and you're going to be seeing those tangible results. But you've got to lean into this Leo full moon energy. Really, really lean into it because there's something really beautiful happening here. Whew. All right, Aquarius. <clears throat> Additional messages for Aquarius, please. Look at that. Second chakra, Archangel Uriel. For many of you guys, this does have to do with passion. It does have to do with intimacy. It does have to do with pleasure. The sacral chakra rules our sexuality, our sensuality, pleasure, emotion, aliveness, playfulness. So you're being asked to be more playful here. And when it's balanced, and that's what I feel like you're doing, um, you're balancing it. It's going to bring you peace, um, passionate love for being alive, a constant sense of vibrating joy, passion, excitement. All right. And it's, and it doesn't matter what's going on in your surroundings because that can no longer touch you. Seriously, the muse of inspiration, the king of wands energy is untouchable. What other people do, it doesn't matter. He's got the Midas touch in all aspects of his life. Wow. Beautiful. All right. Storm warning. Yeah, it hasn't been easy. There is this ending and we see that we see this. You're getting off the karmic wheel, whether that's a relationship that you've been in. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean you separate from the person you're with. Maybe you guys have been going through difficult times, but you're bringing back the passion. You're bringing back the joy, the playfulness. All right. For others of you, you know, it, it's going to be different for each and every one of you, but it hasn't been easy. And there, this storm is kind of like a tower moment as well. And we do have Uranus who has just gone direct in Taurus. So we're having huge downloads and awakenings, really big shakeups, but they're for our greatest good. All right. And we get action. Here it is right on top of the hanged muse in reverse. It's time to take inspired action. Many of you, it's going to be towards a soulmate, even maybe a twin flame energy here. It's it's going to be passionate. It's going to be intimate. You guys are absolutely connected black and white. You guys are that you guys are attracted to each other because of the polar opposites that you are. Okay. But it's time to take action. Things are going to be moving forward because there's this higher awareness that we're seeing here with this sort of Eagle or bird flying high above the sky. It's beautiful energy. What you thought maybe was over is not over. And again, you're coming into wealth and abundance and really sitting in, leaning into this energy where you're attracting what you want and what you need and you know which way to move. Okay, you know which way to go. The King of Wands doesn't doubt himself for a second. He trusts his inner wisdom and his ability to maneuver situations because he has the experience and the knowledge. Okay. And then we get angel of balance. So beautiful. So coming into balance, coming into harmony, beautiful overall energy. Look what's coming. Look what's coming. And we see the number 11 here and I knew it. I knew I was picking up on this polarity for some of you. This is soulmate energy. Some, some of you guys are absolutely coming into union with a soulmate or even a twin flame. Some of you may be leaving a previous connection or healing from a previous connection. For others, it may be reconciliation. And for some of you, it's going to be about money, but you guys are bossing up. You're calling in the abundance that's been trying to make its way to you and your master manifestors. This is what you've been working on. But there was a little bit of like a slowdown or maybe there were some lessons here that needed to be learned, but you're gaining that clarity and you're moving forward. Ooh, Aquarius. Okay. Additional messages for Aqua, please. 
we get share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution and expression. So this is some throat chakra energy. So in particular, when our throat chakra is blocked, we can have fear of rejection, criticism. We can feel like, you know, indifferent or that there's some sort of injustice that's been done. With the angel of balance, I feel like you, this, and with the king of wands energy, that, you know, karma is being balanced out here and you're stepping into your power where you were nervous or anxious about rejection or about criticism, you're no longer because with the new information that you're armed with here, or just this feeling and this, there's no more self doubt here that you're coming out and you're going to shine your light to be your highest expression of yourself here, Aquarius. Okay. And then we get Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations and divine plan. So, you know, this is about Christ consciousness. For many of you guys, this is an up leveling, a major spiritual awakening and up leveling that's bringing balance into your life. It's also allowing you to move forward. Okay. But what else is really beautiful is that you're, what you're doing right now, what you're creating, whether you're drawing in abundance or whether you're creating like a blissful love, constant love in your life with a partner, a soulmate, you know, in your family life, whatever it might be, you are seeding the light. You're inspiring others. And that's part of your life purpose here. You guys, you're laying the foundation. You know, there is a divine plan. You're trusting in the universe that you need to let go of the past and what no longer serves you. And this is also helping up level the collective. Okay. So this is getting like, this is a spiritually heavy reading Aquarius, but I think you guys can handle it. And I think also now is your time. We're moving out of Capricorn into the age of Aquarius, you know, where you guys are the leaders. All right. So let's go ahead and see final message for Aquarius, please. So we get original self, ascended master, white Matthew and Dan Bright. Okay. So the original self, that's what you guys are uncovering here. You absolutely are uncovering who you are, what you're meant to be. Many of you are also, you know, who you're meant to be with, but who, you know, it's also, I feel like it's really, it's really connected to the divine, the divine plan, the blueprint for what you came here to do. Now, um, I'm going to read from the book because this, I, you know, this one, this card always sort of eludes me. So it says that now is the time when you need to trust the most. It's the time when you need to trust unconditionally. You may be, you may feel comfortable doing this, or you may feel deeply challenged by this idea. And for many of my Aquarius out there, you do feel deeply challenged by trusting the universe. Okay. Trusting that things are going to work out for you. Um, you may feel that there's no particular evidence that you should trust and yet you'll happily do it anyway. Or maybe you feel that trusting without a sign that things are going to improve is beyond you. Either way, this Oracle brings you a message. The divine is looking out for you. Yes. I mean, that's beautiful because that is just echoing what I've been sort of telling you guys or the message that's been coming through here. Don't fear trust. Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at what's on its way and look at that. I'm sorry. Many of you guys, you guys are healing. Look at that. And wow. Okay. Many of you guys, and we have door to romance. So for many of you guys, mm, and blossoming abundance after a period of hostilities. Okay. We have blossoming abundance. The door to romance is opening to you or following your heart's desires, but it did take you or does take you walking away from something. We get this four of swords energy again, rest and rejuvenation because you guys have been doing a lot, but then we get the heart chakra, Archangel Raphael, yin and yang. Many of you guys, you absolutely are calling in your soulmate. Some of you are rekindling or where you've been in separation. There's unfinished business here and in healing and doing your work, you're going to come together and create this heaven on earth. Okay. This cornucopia, this abundance, this blissful love. Wow. Okay. Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys found clarity and guidance in these messages. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day. Take care.